Hi everyone, what's going on? It's Jasmine of the Soap Butler coming at you again to find out what's good. What kind of essential oils can we add to our soap making at home that we are going to be put more in control of what we're putting on our skin and the skin of our loved ones. So naturally with COVID uh, kind of putting us on continual lockdown and so many social restrictions we don't know what we're coming up against and we want to make sure that we are optimizing our skincare needs uh, to the utmost so we can always buy wonderful things but wouldn't you rather just make them to know for certain what you're getting what we came across today in our great book of knowledge is the horse chestnut Horse chestnut is just what it sounds like. It is a, a hard shell um, fruit of a tree that is a nut that bears seeds. The seeds are shiny, but the bark is hard. It, it cracks once it is um, ready and ripe to uh, display the seeds. And um, the seeds can be eaten by animals, horses primarily, thus the name horse chestnut, but it is toxic to people. So we don't wanna like put it straight in a, in a tonic or a shake or anything like that. It's not one of those kinds of friendly um, extracts that we can use, but it is safe to use in soap if you are going to use certain precautions. I'm sorry, I don't think I showed you what it looked like. So this is what the flower uh, of the tree looks like. And you can see some of the tree there. And also, uh, let's see, we can find it really quickly. This is what the nut looks like that bears the seed that we get the extract from. Um, that horse is like to nibble on. Um, so what can we say about the horse chestnut? It's from Europe primarily. It was um, really popular in England around the 1500s and, and kind of rare. They used it for like a shady tree, but for some reason, the nuts were viewed as like almost sacred. Like uh, when you found it, it was um kind of like when the irish would find that four leaf clover so they would actually say have you ever heard this before oddly oddly unker my first conquer so conquer is the name of uh the horse chestnut that is known in england so that's why the conquer but yeah so they used to say that when they would find one because it was apparently good luck. Um, what it can help with are issues like leg pain, swelling, cramps, um, varicose veins. We haven't crossed that one before. Um, any kind of vascular um, conditions or um, circulation disorders. So we can add that to our repertoire, but also, it helps with nerve pain, which is phenomenal. Um, there are a lot of like major hard hitting illnesses out there. The first one comes to mind is like Parkinson's um, that deals with, I believe that deals with like severe nerve, nerve damage and nerve pain. I don't know how extensively horse chestnuts are used for that, but in milder cases, it can definitely help with conditions like hemorrhoids, more of, more of a, a common or everyday uh, condition that some of us come across, unfortunately. But so there it is. Um, that's what you can use in your soap if you have any of those situations that you're, you're trying to alleviate. Um, so, oddly oddly anchor, my first conquer. Put that in your soap.